Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today, we have a special guest and we have Flears. Hello. And for today, uh, he'll be discussing uh, a new game. So he'll be our uh, game master for today. So Flears, kindly introduce our game for today. Well, actually, this is not um, a new game, no? Since uh, we already talked about this. But definitely, I will show you the um, new features that you can uh, see here in Drunk Robots. So, by the way, uh, this is under BSC or Binance Smart Chain Network. And again, this nice. is not new, alright? This is not new, but there are lots of new features in this game. So, um, I will get you through the website real quick, and then I will proceed with our account. And I'll let you uh, explore with the dashboard as well. And I'll show you the newest addition in this project. Alright, so this is the website. As you can see, it's really aesthetically beautiful. And uh, you see all the robots, the characters that is being featured in this particular video that is running on the background. And of course, uh, it says here, collect your drunk robots character. So each of these robots have its own features, have its own NFT um, aesthetics. Alright, and uh, until now, you can actually buy or purchase these robots on the secondary market okay so as of now there are a um, few games that are available to play which includes the scavenging knockout um, and the pvp mode so uh, we'll discuss this we'll discuss this later on and of course there are partners that are being featured here in their website all right and um as you can see there are lots of partners in here which makes this project really promising and um what I can say with you guys, uh, especially for the Ultimate X fans right there, um, if you're looking for projects, please do look at their partners because the more partners they have, the more um, the chances of these projects that will be, um, you know, going legit. to the moon. Yes, legitimate as well. All right. So this is the Drunk Robots Metaverse. It has its gameplay, the core gameplay, and the narrative. And uh, for me, uh, personally, I like the narrative in this game and as well as the graphics. Because, you know, I'm a graphic uh, person and um, yeah, I, re I am really into these graphics. So, by the way, when it comes to token, their official token is MTL, which will be launching this quarter one of year 2022. Okay, and you will be uh, requiring this um, metal or the MTL token for shopping, energy recovery, missions, and so on and so forth. So, all rewards for successfully completing in game activities will also be paid in metal token. Okay, so you just have to. Uh, to be aware of that, alright, if you want to be in this game. By the way, I am actually part of the gang called Fleeroids, but unfortunately, we can't uh, get yet into these uh, leaderboards because uh, most of these gangs have a lot of robots, though we have some robots, by the way. But uh, I would appreciate it, guys, if you can join us in our Fleeroids gang, okay? And uh, through their website, you can also see the latest videos about drunk robots like, for example, container opening and store robbery demo. These demos are actually great if you want to be like, um, you know, if you want to explore about the game and the updates as well. They also have their official YouTube channel that you can actually subscribe if you want to be updated with what's the latest with Drunk Robots Project. Of course, there are also latest news um, part in this website where you can uh, read every um, articles that they post in here. Alright, so pretty much that's for the website. Let's go with our official dashboard. So I already logged in my account in here and as you can see, we have one robot in our arsenal and that is Jane, okay? A common NFT. Okay, so when we you click this, it will show you the robot and its specifications. So right now, um, it has gray shorts, it has jacket and um, pink wig, okay? And uh, you can also see the percentage of every um, specifications, the, uh, let's say, the hash rate, okay? So what is this hash rate, okay? This, this hash rate is used for, um, for mining or scavenging, okay? Since uh, we mentioned about scavenging a while ago, it can be found here on the game section and um, it says here scavenging you can send one or more of your robots to scavenge junk so it's more likely of a mining are you familiar with mining mining Ultimate yeah uh, lots of games have the that uh, similar gameplay wherein you just uh, similar to what a staking is when you stake your uh, NFT there they'll, they'll be getting some tokens and so on so similar to that one uh, just on a different uh, setting on a different game so yeah they have similarities in with other games actually you're right about that it's just um this scavenging is termed scavenge since uh 
this game has a narrative and at the same time um, scavenge is kind of uh, similar or related into drunk robots because these robots are drunk and they love to scavenge junk in here and the tokens that you can actually mine or scavenge in this um, particular gameplay are called junk tokens it really makes sense right <laughs> by the way um <laughs> when you click play on this um, game, no? uh, it will redirect you to the Drunk Robots scavenging page wherein you can actually connect your your uh, wallet. And as you can see, this common robot that I have uh, has this hash rate of 44. Actually, actually it's, that's pretty low. But um, over the weeks that I have scavenged in here, I have uh, a pending of 40 junk. Okay, Right now, this doesn't have any value yet. But uh, this can be really useful in the long term, okay, in the future. So right now, if you have any bots, if you want them to have a, um, a use in your account, then definitely scavenge. You have to scavenge in the scavenging game mode in order for these bots to work for you, all right? So that's just one gameplay that you can play in Drunk Robots. We also have the free-to-play section here. I, I think this is not the first time I have introduced Knockout minigame, right? I think you have already played this game, Ultimate. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, with regards to this one, it's kind of DC. Um, <laughs> you will be if you are hard on graphics and with colors, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't say this is the game for uh, for those people, because I mean the graphics are uh, heavy, and then the screen are continuously shaking, and also it's kind of hazy and all. So. Um, it's hard uh, looking at the opponents and you were running around within the map so uh, it's kind of hard playing for that one and I think the highest one that I played is around 20 to 30 points only so I mean it's kind of hard uh, for, for me yeah okay that's actually a good observation and by the way uh, since this is a free to play you don't have to own any NFTs any bots you don't have to put in tokens to your MetaMask account no you don't need that you just have to create your account and by the way um, they have updated this uh, leaderboard if you click on the leaderboard it says here everyone who scores 100 points or more gets a junk drop okay and then um, that is from March 7 to March 13 okay so you just have to score 100 uh, points in order to get some airdrop with their junk tokens so that's actually a great stuff that they updated in this knockout mini game because it's really hard just like uh, what ultimate x have mentioned it's really difficult to be part of the leaderboards especially the top tens if uh, you feel really dizzy at the first few minutes few hours of gameplay that's really gonna be hard actually on, in my own experience in terms of that one clear um I, I've seen in your video that you were at, I think, top 5. What was your um, rewards being on the top 5? Scoring, I think, more than 300 points. Well, unfortunately, that time, uh, they have already updated the game. Um, they are not really after the leaderboards, but they are after the users who score 100. So with that, uh, it says here, there will be 500 junk to be distributed to the uh, people or users that scores 100 points and above. So we we um, we are like um, divided into or uh, we have received this prize pool of 500 junk, and I received around uh, four to five junk that time when I get into the top ten and top five. Because, Leaderboards. Uh, yeah, it's the yeah. same week, all right. And um, I, it happens that I haven't uh, played the game for a while, and you know I have this sensation that I should be in the top ten at least. All right. So that yes. uh, that mindset um, motivated me, encouraged me to play the game, even though I really feel dizzy, you know, because it's around 4 a.m., <laughs> 3 a.m., something like that. And uh, I, I play this game. It's really dizzy. You know, I have this um, I have this condition I call astigmatism, and um, that's really difficult. But uh, still, I managed yeah. to score with that uh, five, I think, top five. Yeah, I forgot the score specifically, but... Uh, it's really good and it's really fun experience you know i really shouted a lot here in my room and uh, i'm afraid the neighbors <laughs> will scold me hey man you're so noisy <laughs> something like that so when i reached the top five i stopped and uh yeah i uh, waited for the for the junk tokens and i received it you know 
it's really good that there's a feature like this, the free to play. Though we will not play it in this particular part since it's really, you know, it's really time consuming for my part since I have to adjust again. Of course, you do as well because you feel dizzy. And just like you do, I feel dizzy as well. But uh, over time, if, you, if you're really encouraged and if you're really motivated to be part of the leaderboards, I don't think that will be a problem because you want to earn something, then you, will, you just have to work hard for it. Okay, now if you have bots and you want to uh, to try their PvP, you can also play it right now. Okay, it's available here in the game section. And PvP Arena, here you can join the Furious Battle with other robots. Gather your squad, which can consist of up to 6 robots and show the enemy what you are capable of. The winner will be rewarded with lots of junk tokens, beautiful robo girls, or if you if you are into beautiful robo girls, and tons of beer. Then definitely, <laughs> you just have to play the PvP mode. Right now, I think this is still in the beta phase. All right, so you have this PvP dashboard, and as you win, I think your hash power will also uh, increase. Okay, so right now I have a farming speed of 0.0793. Um, junk tokens per day and the total accumulated junk tokens over the time is 0.8 junk tokens so I can claim this one if I want to but uh, since I really want to to uh, save up for my battery that's what you call it here battery um, I have to stake my uh, the robot since it's still common I don't have a problem about it because uh, I can uh, accumulate these junk tokens without doing anything okay I just have to battle here okay and then uh, you can reroll if you want for a price of 0.2 junk, but that's really expensive for my part. You know, I'm not that, <laughs> I'm not that rich. So I had just have to attack this and um, wait for the uh, progress. So as you can see, there there is this uh, progress um, graphic or uh, GIF, and I won. Okay, that gives us additional 15.96 rating. Okay, so right now I don't exactly know. Uh, where these rating goes but definitely we just have to wait for their updates because these rating will definitely matter in the course of the pvp mode all right and let's say if we want to try again we just have to click try again and then it will look for another opponent so right now i have an 80 out of 100 um, battery and my opponent has 100 out of 100 um, i think this is really a risky uh, decision to attack but uh, for the sake of the video i will be attacking this uh, <laughs> robot Okay, so before guys, no, uh, on my channel, there is no there is no animation like that. Okay, so look, we have a negative 14.95 rating on that match. Okay, and uh, that's because of the energy from what I understand. Okay, so if that happens, don't try again. Because <laughs> you risk losing your hash power and uh, your rating as well. So at least you got the glimpse of uh, what the PvP looks like. Right now, it's just like a click to earn, but definitely you'll see a lot of improvements over the course of their development. Because um, as you can see here in the uh, in in the thumbnail, like a PvP mode, it'll be looking like this. Your robots will be on this uh, on this stance. You can see your bots and their robots fighting with each other, and definitely that will be an entertainment to watch. Especially for those people who are uh, into the visuals. How about you, Ultimate? Do you, uh, do you, do you, um, are you into the visuals or are you into the gameplay or into earnings? For this one, I would like to see the PvP mode. Um, why? Because if it will be on a turn base, uh, I'm used to having those uh, turn base um, strategies. So if that would happen, so that would be huge. Uh, especially in uh, playing some mechanics with regards to this one. So PvP, uh, if that will be a turn base, let's see uh, how will the game will turn out. So uh, aside from the earning, of course, we, all, we always want that into our channel to introduce into our viewers. Yeah. Of course, uh, having uh, additional income while playing for the games, uh, it's a huge boost, especially that, uh, I mean, in our country, a lot of uh, people are still looking for uh, additional incomes. Uh, on a daily basis okay guys so for the next part we will be talking about the drunk robots marketplace so please do subscribe to ultimate x gaming's youtube channel to see our discussion about the secondary market or the liquidity marketplace brought to you by drunk robots and of course guys thank you so much for watching on behalf of ultimate x gaming i'm clear and we'll see each other on the next content about drunk robots and just like what ultimate x says goodbye 
See ya!